Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. We are doing linear law. Linear equation y equals to mx plus c. I would like to use one example first of all. That's y equals to 3x plus 2. And I, when I want to draw the graph of this equation, x and y axis are there. And when I draw the graph, the graph will be a straight line. It's very simple. That's the linear equation means to have a linear straight line. But what about this non-linear equation? This non-linear equation, I am using this 1 upon y equals to 3x squared plus 2. And when I want to draw the graph, this y is here, x is here. So that will give us this type of shape. This is not a straight line. But remember, according to linear, linear law, what we are doing is we can convert this non-linear equation into linear form. Yes, that's very simple. What we have to do, this y, I want to remove from this y. This y, I will write 1 upon y. And this on x-axis, I will write just x squared. But when we draw the graph of using x squared and 1 upon y, we will always have a straight line. This is called the linear law. That's how we can convert. So this chapter, I just in advanced chapter, what we are doing that how we can convert the non-linear equation into linear equation, not linear equation, but in the straight line form. So that's what we're doing. For that purpose, I have taken a few examples from the additional mass book. Uh, in linear law, uh, exercise 8.1, you can see that we are having two types of questions. Even we have two types of questions in examination. When the sketches are given, like you can see in question number one, uh, sketches are given and we have to find or we have to do the solution. Uh, in other parts, in question number two, you can see that the table is given and we have to draw the graph and after drawing the graph we have to work on it like after drawing the graph the graph will be like this or like this i would like to show also something from the past several questions you have selected today this like uh, if i show you some past several questions first in past several question we can have uh, this type of question this is uh, uh, June 2010 paper 1 question number 4. This is that like uh, a sketch is given, the graph is given and we have to work on it. Second question when you move, this is June 10 paper 1 question 7. The table is given and after uh, using this table and we had to draw a graph. When we draw the graph then we can work on it. So it means uh, we have two types of question in linear law. One when the sketch is given, graph is given and second we have to draw the graph and work on it. So now today in this video, I'm just going to discuss only about this when the sketch is given, how we can work on it. And the next video, I will work with how we can uh, draw the graph and then work. Uh, this is what we need in that. In linear law, in question number one, this is very good example I, uh, I want to use here. In question number one, like uh, this is my method actually, I have just maybe different teachers are using different method, but what is my method in this way? This you have to remember one thing that you have to write y is capital M capital X plus C. Just remember one thing. This is very important equation. You have to remember this. I have taken linear equation is capital Y and X capital X. Okay, what we are doing? Step number one. In step number one, what you have to do, just find, don't worry about this x, this y or x squared, don't worry about it. Just find gradient. And you know, to find the gradient, what we need to use y to y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, can you find the gradient of this line? Uh, y, this is coming what? y9 minus 1 and 4 minus 0, 4 minus 0. So finally, the gradient is coming 9 minus 1 is 8, 8 upon 4 means 2. So it means the gradient is coming 2. Now, step number 2, what we have to do in step number 2? Very simple, find C by using Y plus 2, MX plus C. Don't use capital sign or please don't use this X squared. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the question. Just use any one coordinate, 4, 9, or 0, 1, and to find y-intercept. Even the y-intercept is coming 1 here. You can check from the graph. 
So if you if you want to use like uh, the graph, the C is coming one because the main target is to find M and C only. If you want to use like I want to show you the method also when the Y and the set is not given. Y is nine. M we have calculated two here and X is coming four and this is C. Four times two is eight. Nine minus eight is one. So it's coming. C is coming one. Once again, I mean we can find the C from the graph. We can find like C by using the methods is up to you, but better to use the graph when it's given. Okay. By this method, when I when we want to make like find each case express y in terms of x, it's very simple method. You have to write capital Y is equals to M capital X plus C. What is capital Y? Capital Y means you're talking about this Y. This y is y, like you, the y axis, we have just only y, so just write here y. What is m? m is coming to x means the value x squared, I am just writing here x squared, and c is what? c is coming 1. So we have got the answer like y equals to 2x squared plus 1. It means we can, we can find the linear equation like any equation by using the same method just find gradient find c and don't worry about this x squared x squared here and y okay i want to use uh, this uh, like uh, this uh, part i want to use question number c okay in question number c again what is step number one don't worry don't worry about this one upon y and one upon x very simple method what the first step is what first step step number one is find m okay what is m m is coming uh, two and four this is you can write zero two or this is four zero even you can write rise upon run we are having number of method to find rise is 2 and run is 4 so m is coming 1 upon 2 but the, remember the direction of the slope is like this so it's always negative this is always positive gradient when you want to understand how we can uh, decide the gradient is positive or negative you can go through my coordinate geometry topic in my playlist okay even if you want to use like uh, 0 2 and 4 0 and use this and use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 you can find the gradient 1 upon 2 okay now what's the second method the second method is find c finding c and step 2 is up to you like how you can find c by using linear equation or the graph sorry c c is coming here 2 okay c is coming 2 so now what's the method you have to write the capital y equals to m capital x plus c what is capital y capital y is one upon y i just i will just write one upon y what is the gradient of this question minus one upon two what is x x is one upon x and plus c is two so this is the way we have done it now if you want to like convert this i'm writing one upon two x plus 2 as the question is required this you have to write y in terms of x now what you can do you can do the cross multiplication or it's up to you even if you want to do what if i do cross multiplication you can find uh take the lcm here 1 upon y is equals to simple method i'm using 2x this is 1 plus 2 is 4x right okay when you want to y, make y subject reciprocal reciprocal means this is y upon 1 and that will become 2x upon 1 plus 4x this is the way and the y equals to 2x 1 upon 4x so this is very simple method that how we can find a linear law in linear equation by using this question okay when i move more move to the possible question one of the possible question for example here okay what's the method Please don't worry about this thing. Don't worry about this thing. Simple. What you have to do, you have to use the method. Step number one is, what's step number one? Find M. Just, just find M. Find M means M is equals to Y2 minus Y1 means 1.6. 
minus 1 divided by 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2. When you use this, what's the value? 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.3. Decimal cancel 3 times 2, m is coming to Very simple. Now, what's step number 2? Please don't worry about it. Just find C by using simple method y equals 2 mx plus C. And don't worry about this x squared and e power x. Y is y. Like, you can use any, any one of the coordinates. 0, 5. Okay, y is equals to 1. m, we got 2. x is 0, 0.2. and plus C. So, 1 is equals to 0 0.4 plus c and c is coming 1 minus 0 0.4 that's coming 0 0.6 so it means the c is coming 0 0.6 okay now what is our target this is m and this is c target is what like i have to write the capital m y m capital x plus c this is the simple method you can use capital y and capital x what is capital y the capital y is e power y i'm writing e power y is equals to m is 2 and x is x squared and c is 0 0.6 you can see check this is 0 0.4 and just we got the answer 0 0.6 this is we have done the first part see find the value of e power y when x is 0, e power y. So, e power y means we are finding e power y. Okay, x is 0 means what's the value? e power y is equals to 0 0.6 and we have done it. Like in this equation, just put the value of x is 0. Second part, like we are writing this, how we can convert uh, this equation. I am writing this equation again e power y is equals to 2x squared plus 0 0.6. We need to convert this how we can express in terms like y in terms of x. If I want to uh, like if for this purpose, like for the new students who has not done like a, a logarithm a exponential function, they will have the problem here. But if you have done in if you are in 11th grade and if you have done so you can understand this. What we need here, we apply ln both the sides this is the method ln both the sides by applying ln both the sides this y will shift down so y l n e is equals to ln 2x squared plus 0 0.6 ln e is equals to 1 so y is equals to ln 2x squared plus 0 0.6 and we have done it so this is the way we have done this question